Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parker, again, back with another action figure review. Today we have the Marvel Epic Hero Series Miles Morales figure from the Spider-Man wave. And I'd usually say before we take a look at the figure, let's get a look at the packaging. But again, I threw the packaging away because I destroyed it while opening the figure. And, like I said before, the packaging is just way too boring to even, like, be cared about. But before I take a f look at the figure, let's take a look at the accessory he comes with. So his accessory is actually pretty cool. Definitely something I wish they had done with more of the universe. It's a clip-on web, which is all yellow for some reason. I'd prefer it to be white, but that's just me. I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably an electrified web. So I feel stupid now. But I think it's just the same one as the regular Spider-Man. Or you can't have much more from it. You just, I usually slot it here because this is where the wrist is thinnest and I just slide it over. And now you have, you know, Spider-Man swinging through the city or electrifying his enemies. Now the... Come on, you bastard. Anyways, I think this figure is uh, actually really good. I've been looking for a Miles Morales figure for a little bit because I've been trying to do the all new, all different Avengers team. Or the old all new Hunter fan. It's weird. But he's, uh, from here and down, it's, there's nothing but, but literally all black suit. But from the waist up, it's pretty cool. He has his gloves, his fingers are red. He has, like, an actual molded spider emblem on, t on his chest with the red lining, the white eyes with red outline, these little shoulder pads, which I, well, I think that's not a little weird, but whatever, you know. And then on the back, you got a bigger spider with some more, you can see the spider's kind of like weaving the web. Oh, I guess if you notice that, see how the web's coming from it. That's pretty cool, I actually never noticed that. See on to the articulation, ball joint at the head, it can move up slightly, but it has pretty good range. Uh, moving a hinge at the shoulder and the elbow. And then also a hinge at the um, thigh and at the knee. So overall, pretty, you can get him in some pretty good uh, poses as Spider-Man. I always thought Spider-Man figures need a lot of articulation because he's one of the most acrobatic heroes there is. But that is the end of the video. I'll let me stand him up if I do my, my outro. Anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.